Yeah, it had the, the same sort of pattern um, to the two previous home matches against Salford City and Swindon Town, where we did okay in the first half. Um, but it was, it, it's the way that we seem to deteriorate in the second 45 minutes of games of late. And, um, you know, it, there's, there's, there's so much that, that went wrong today. There's so much to, to talk about. Um, but, you know, we were discussing earlier in the game, weren't we? Um, how many times did we appear to change formation in the game? We were trying to work out, was it 3-4-3 we were playing? 5-4-1? 4-4-2, 3-5-2, it was bizarre. Um, and these are decisions that, that the manager's making in-game. So if you're having to ch chop and change formation at such a rate, then something has not gone right with your pre-match prep. Um, the, the substitutions that were made at half-time, and I think I'm right in saying it was three of them, had no effect, no positive impact on the game whatsoever. Um, and yeah, the second half was was dire. It was it was dreadful. And as soon as Bradford took the lead, you always feared the worst with Tranmere because of our lack of goals so far this season. But not just with that, our lack of creativity as well. You know, we knocked the ball around quite tidily at times without its possession, without substance. We get into that final opposition third, and we just run out of ideas. And I think teams have, have really sussed us out, know how to get a result against us. They give us the ball, they surrender the possession. And when you've got a finisher like Andy Cook that Bradford have, we know all too well how what he can do from his from his spell several years ago at Tranmere. You give him an inch, he's going to finish. And they had something we didn't have today. And that's someone who can put the ball in the back of the net. You know, Cook, he doesn't work particularly hard, doesn't need to. He's very intelligent in terms of just no drop back. He dropped back onto the um, edge of the penalty area in the first half, struck the ball low into the bottom corner, pass Luke McGee. Great finish. You know, it's what we, we haven't got. But all game long, it was just wretched. Long balls up to Christian Dennis in the first half. He's got not he hasn't got a cat in hell's chance of getting onto the end of some of them. And Morris playing out wide. It looks like he's moving in sand. He's not the only one. Um, Amari Patrick did well in the first half. Least tries to get on the ball, least tries to cut him from the wide areas. But it was square pegs and round holes, and they're very, very alarming. And I think, to be honest, you've got to question the manager with the team selection and how well prepped we are going into these games now because we aren't getting better. We do seem to be getting worse. And when you see where we are on the league table now after 10 games and the chronic lack of creativity, we have five goals in 10 games. There's, um, you know, alarm bells should start to ring. I've been looking at some stats. And the way that games are going against Tranmere is alarming as well. 2 0 today, conceded one in both halves. MK Dons. Obviously, it was one all um, a goal in the first half, but they conceded at Swindon in the second half. The Colchester game, the Dyers cast um, from 2 0 down at half time. The Gillingham game is 0 0 at half time, and Tranmere lose 3 0. Of the goals that Tranmere have scored this season, I think I'm right in saying only one of their five league goals has been scored in the second half, and that was the one at MK Dons last week. Um, Swindon, they scored in the first half. Christine Dennis got it in the Carlisle game. Patrick gets both in the first half. Walsall, uh, Patrick scores in the first half as well. If they go behind, they ain't getting back into it. You just do straight away today. You know, and I, I, was, I read a stat midweek about how good Bradford are when they do go ahead. Um, something like 20-odd games where they've taken the lead and, uh, and, and haven't lost the game. It's it, It's... It's quite a remarkable statistic and, and fair play to them for that. But yeah, as soon as Andy Cook put Bradford in front in the first half, he thought it was going to be a long afternoon. And, you know, for, I don't necessarily think we were that bad in the first half. Second half was just, it was just aimless. It was toothless. There was very, very little being shown to suggest that Tranmere could get back in the game. And, you know, 
the deterioration in, in the performances in the second 45 minutes now looks like a, more of a trend. You know, as I mentioned earlier, the Salford game, the Swindon game, and yeah, that's that's so that's that's even makes it even more bizarre. And you, you've got to start looking at the manager's decisions, substitution. Why bring Sam Taylor on so late when we're already two 0 down? That's a substitution you may look to make at half past, at half time. Um, get him up top, give him Christian Dennis some support rather than just taking Dennis off himself. And um, yeah, it was. I, I worry about us. You know, we're ten games into the season now, and the lack of creativity, the lack of goals, the fact that we're shipping them at the other end as well, has all the the hallmarks of a, of a side that's going to be really struggling to uh, to stay in the division. And um, you have to be exceedingly bad to get relegated out of League Two, but we have been once before ten years ago. And um, yeah, there's. There's a lot of work tonight for the uh, the managers to look at. 